Hey, you, all oh, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the north. More specifically, we are in Buffalo, New York. Today is April 8th, it is 9.40 a.m. And today is the day of the total eclipse of the sun. Now we got a little bit of overcast, as you can see, we've got a lot of overcast. The sky's pretty much all overcast. The sun, I saw the sun trying, trying to peer through the overcast over there. I don't want to look too much because that, that's one of the themes of today, one of the themes of Eclipse. You don't stare into the sun no matter how much you think it is safe. It is never safe to stare into the sun, except Today it actually is, because once, once uh, the sun reaches totality with the with the solar eclipse, you actually can look at the sun. When the moon, the sun, the Earth are completely aligned, that moment, that moment alone, is the only time you can safely look at the sun. Like I said, it's pretty overcast. We're gonna do our best to enjoy the eclipse today. I believe the weather report is slightly better in Niagara Falls. We, uh, when, when I was looking, I think uh, yesterday, there, it was all cloudy here, and in the little cartoon, the little cartoon cloud had a little tiny sun peeking out. It's not a very long way away. It's not a very far distance, so I don't know that it is going to be, uh, I don't know that it's going to be um, that much different, but you know we'll, we'll do our best. I think it's going to be a little better over there. We are going to try to make our way over there. I don't know what it's going to look like with how busy it's going to be. I don't know how many people are headed out to the same direction as us. Um, you know, they, they, I know the town of Buffalo that was very nervous about people coming in for the eclipse. The town of Niagara Falls. The country of Canada, very nervous about people coming in for the eclipse. Uh, it's hard to judge these things. Uh, yesterday we went down to the uh, canal in Buffalo. It wasn't overly busy. Uh, a local told me that it was busier than normal for this time of year, that there was a lot of tourists down there. But, you know, I've gone to a lot of tourist destinations and as tourist destinations go, it wasn't it wasn't very busy yesterday. It was um, it was a Sunday, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll learn it together. This is a you know, there's not a lot of eclipses, and each one is a little different. So there's no real telling what the, how it's going to come together. We know the path that it's taking, the path of totality. So uh, we're going to head over to uh, or we're going to try. We're going to make an attempt to head over to uh, Niagara Falls and uh, we will see we'll see what happens so please follow me all right we're going through the drive through here Jen wanted to get a little Tim Horton Tim Hortons in celebration of going to uh, Buffalo to, to, in general I was gonna say uh, Niagara Falls but, ah. This is like the quintessential Canadian treat, but yes. I guess it's also a buffalo treat. They because are going to be closed. Yes. They're closing for the eclipse? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Be advised that on Monday, your flights will be closed from 2.45 to 3.45 to allow our team members to enjoy the eclipse. Oh, I think that's nice. Yeah, I, I think, think so they should too. be able to go outside and enjoy the eclipse. All right, we got our Tim Hortons there. Little known fact, Tim Horton himself actually a hockey player. Is that a little known fact? I was gonna say, that's I think a, that's, that's a, a very known well fact. fact. Yeah. Oh, people, <laughs> people know that? I think everyone knows that, but yeah. I didn't, I didn't until recently. All right, I got the chorizo omelet bites. These are like little egg nuggets. It's like a little biscuit made just of egg. Mexico oh, it's hot. Egg. It's hot to pick up with my bare fingers. Egg like. It's okay. It's okay. So, yeah, we're uh, headed out and the, the roads are pretty clear. I mean, it's about uh, 10 30 right now, so we are headed out pretty early. But, uh, you know, I didn't know if there's gonna be some traffic jams or whatnot, but 
right now it looks pretty good. Is that like a flour fat? Oh, it's a General Mills factory. Oh, that's right. Cheerios. Cheerios. How many use it? Use, I actually can. I can smell Cheerios right now. It says you can smell Cheerios when you drive by the General Mills factory. Yeah. The delightful smell of Cheerios in the air. What's the sign say? It says solar eclipse. Keep traffic moving. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're we'll keep moving. On the way here, I was seeing signs like, no. Emergencies or like emergency stops only like don't stop in the middle of the throughway like keep going I mean normally that's a good idea to not just like stop <laughs> your car in the middle of a busy uh, Yeah, street. there we go headed to Niagara Falls Niagara Falls Is that the no, I was trying to do it to totally eclipse of the heart. Oh, yeah, Jen this morning Turn around Jen this morning has been singing uh, Total Eclipse of the Heart nonstop. All day. And All day? You're just getting started? Yeah. I'm wearing my Stevie Nick shirt because I couldn't find a Bonnie Tyler shirt. Do you have a Bonnie Tyler shirt? No, I really wanted to get one for today. Driving by Fantasy Island, aka Niagara Amusement Park there. I don't really know the status on that, how things are coming along with rebuilding the park. As we've been driving, there's all sorts of police and law enforcement out, parked, but uh, so far the crowd hasn't picked up. Maybe, maybe things get a little crazier once we get closer to the eclipse. All right, we're heading over to Canada, I believe. It doesn't look like the border's too backed up, at least from this point. It's 10.52. It's 10 <laughs> I, You know, I decided to come out here early. Wanted to make sure we got in, and I think we're gonna get in okay. All right, headed over. It does, yeah, it doesn't look like we're back that much. You can see people actually walking across the border on foot there. But, uh, oh my gosh, there's like no cars at the border. I didn't know, I, I didn't even know we'd be able to get into Canada today. And it is just like perfectly, empty over here. Oh, look at that. Like every, okay, they came prepared. Like every door is open. Usually they have like two, but uh, yeah, we should be good. All right, we got into Canada. No problem. No wait. There's the old Planet Hollywood there in its decrepit state. You got the Hershey store there with the giant Hershey's kiss dangling off the top. Nickelback! Oh, is Nickelback playing? That's just not tonight. <laughs> it's June. June. Nickelback's playing the Eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so parking over here, my normal parking spot here, at Clifton Hill. Well, today it's fifty dollars Canadian Hello. to park here. All right, we've stopped here. Again, very ample parking. Again, what time is it? It's maybe coming up on like eleven. There's uh, doesn't seem to be too bad of a crowd here, but there is a. We did get a few raindrops here, so that's not not a uh, encouraging development yeah we're about four hours from the actual eclipse but you can see plenty of room to come park here at uh, clifton hill visit our dinosaur friends here at the uh mini golf you hear the dino noises The Niagara Speedway over here. You can see the uh, riders actually have to wear helmets going on this uh, particular track. So Jen is wearing her Ewok hoodie today. I was just asking I, I, <laughs> if it was uh, because the Ewoks live on the moon of Endor, so that kind of fits in with the eclipse. Exactly why it's not because I was cold and it's raining. <laughs> so you so, so you, you wore because it was eclipse related? Yes. <laughs> I just like them. <laughs> so Jen, you like this dinosaur here? Which one? That one or that one? Which one do you like the best? I mean they're all a little like they're very expressive. Like this one looks like me when I get excited, like ah! That's the happy and, one there. Yeah, that one looks like me trying to cross the border all anxious. Like, what ah! this one this one right here? This is the anxious that dinosaur? <gasps> Those are my emotions in life. And this one's confused. Which one? This one? Yeah. And Jen's sister Carrie will be joining us Hi. for the Eclipse 
event today. You excited about the eclipse? I am. Well, you, I mean, it's, I'm excited for whatever we might be able to see. It'll, have you, it'll get dark. Have you ever seen an eclipse before? Uh, a partial one, but not a partial. Your first total one. Yeah, and this is my first time at Clifton Hill too. I can't believe you've never been to Clifton oh, Hill. You grew up in Buffalo, and you've never been here. I'm a, a very sheltered person. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Is this how nervous you were at the border, Jen? Uh, not quite. I think it's more the other guy. This one's more like, ah, where's the sun? <laughs> yeah, Jen, for some reason, got really nervous at the I border. I always get really nervous at the border. Well, they just ask like those, those they ask like those direct questions, like, what's in your car? And I was like, my purse. I don't know. There's a stuffed animal. I don't know. What do you What do you want from me? <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, I was in the sun. I know it's back there too. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, you see the Franken coaster going there. Though it doesn't look like it has anyone, uh, anyone on board. You can see some people setting up there. Some uh, religious signs, maybe some religious handouts. So far, the only place with a line here is at uh, Tim Hortons. They love Tim Hortons. Yeah, I couldn't think of a better place to spend the eclipse than here on Clifton Hill. Unfortunately, sky's pretty, pretty cloudy. Um, not really sure where the sun is at. Oh, I actually see a little bit of blue right there, so you know, that's a little glimmer, a little glimmer of hope. I'm gonna pop here into the Blue Moose Trading Company. It's greeted by their giant Sasquatch here. Yeah, oh, look at this shirt here. Niagara Falls, Canada. They actually have a moose. Darth Vader. Now, Jen, you you like mooses and you like Star Wars. I've, I've wanted this shirt for a while. And then they have the other variant that we saw in San Antonio. Oh, yeah, the San Antonio. Oh, we saw the cow. They're all steer. Yeah. And here they're all uh, all Star Wars. What is that? We got Han Solo there. Looks like he's some sort of weasel. I don't know. Yeah, I like C three PO is a little like most. Oh yeah, C three PO is a. Oh, it's a, a, a Chewbacca too. beaver. Chewbacca's a beaver. Yeah. Did you make a purchase there, Jen? You know, you couldn't go home without that. <laughs> I I know I would regret it since I've been like eyeing these in a while. They actually have my size, so that's exciting. <laughs> in addition to the Star Wars moose, they also have the amazing spider moose here. And uh, they a moose that plays hockey. So things are seriously starting to pick up here on Clifton Hill. See people walking in the streets here. I've never seen this. It does look like they've closed the streets down there. They've blocked off the street. So Clifton Hill is completely blocked off. People just wandering around in the streets of this wonderful tourist wonderland. I think we're going to wander down here to the end of the street where they have, of course, the, uh, the Niagara Falls themselves. Here is the uh, bridge that we crossed over to get here into Canada. And here are the falls. You can see people congregating around the falls. This is, you know, just a beautiful place to uh, watch the eclipse. See different people, different people selling uh, eclipse glasses all down here. We actually did bring uh, our own glasses, but uh, here the Niagara Falls Tourism was handing out these Niagara Falls themed uh, eclipse glasses. Now you got... we have Buffalo ones and Niagara Falls ones. Yeah, we weren't sure and where we were going to go. From Amazon. So we got I'm Amazon all, I'm very ones. Protected. And I trust, I trust NiagaraFallsTourism.com. I trust that they are, are giving out proper glasses because there's all these warnings that you got to. Uh, you gotta be careful because it's ISO 12312 2 certified. Oh, I, just, I don't know where I, your glasses are. I just dropped going. mine. Yeah, they said that you gotta be aware of like shysters and grifters that hand out oh, fake God. glasses. They Not get your the money and then you go blind. Ah. So put, put those on, see if they work. That's a really crappy deal. <laughs> Over my I literally can't see anything. Yeah, you pretty Is much that the point? you pretty much can't see anything except the sun. No, yeah. Look around and see if you can find the sun, because I don't know where it is hiding. <laughs> Jen, over here, over here. Can you see the sun? It's up there. I, no. You can't see the sun? No. <laughs> I can't see anything. <laughs> I got a little dizzy, but no, can't see anything. <laughs> I can see a lot of people crowding around the falls. 
on my phone's got it. You can see Americans over there watching on the American side. See the Maid of the Mist right there. It'd be really cool to be on the Maid of the Mist during the eclipse, but that might that might take some good timing. Or maybe they're selling tickets, who knows? So I just looked up when the next eclipse was that could be seen in uh, in the United States or nearby, and uh, it is in 2044, so 20 years until the next uh, solar eclipse that's actually passing through uh, the United States area, North America. Um, there'll be one, one a year after that in 2045. Uh, the one in 2044, apparently there's only a very small piece of North Dakota and Montana that's going through. So this is kind of a big deal, this uh, solar eclipse that's happening in 2024. 20, uh, um, and it's a big deal. You know, there's solar eclipses that travel you know, across the world, but most of them go over water. This one's actually cutting through almost the entire United States and into Canada. So uh, this is, yeah, this is one of the last chances a lot of people will have to view. I don't know if I will be alive in 20 years or not. There's certainly no guarantee uh, that I will. I did see the one in 2017. Um, and it's just, it's one thing about the solar eclipse, you know, the idea that you can see it with your eyes and the totality is really, really amazing. It's almost like a modern miracle because it is, um, it is the reason that it works. The reason that the moon, the sun, the earth can line up where you can actually look into the sun is the uh, sun is 400 times as big as the moon and the sun is uh, 400 times further away from the earth than the moon. So that means that with those very specific with those very specific calculations, the, the moon is able to completely block out the sun for a few moments. If, they, if those exact cosmic alignments were not in place, then the, uh, these sort of solar eclipses simply could not exist. So it's almost a miracle that we have solar eclipses. It's just crazy the astronomical odds that something like that comes together is, uh, is pretty impressive. Now we got about an hour now until the until totality. Again, the sky pretty much overcast. I'm not exactly sure where the sun is. We weren't able to find out where the sun was even looking with the um, with the eclipse glasses. So we'll see. You know, we may not be able to uh, to get the full experience, but it should have some effects. It should get dark here. Be interesting to see. Interesting to see how this plays out. All right, we found the sun. It's right above the zip line thing. I don't want to point the camera directly at the sun because I've heard that you can actually ruin a camera that way. Oh, really? Even though, yeah, even though the last eclipse, I, I just filmed the, I just pointed my camera directly at the sun. Did the, you really? The entire time, That's the entire funny. time for hours. <laughs> so apparently it can ruin your camera. So we'll wait and see. There oh, is, there is like, there is a little peak of, uh, of blue over there right above the falls. So we'll see, we'll see. But I think, yeah, I think the sun right up over here kind of right up over the falls yeah down here we got all the streets blocked off see people setting up blankets and chairs to view the eclipse here by the falls oh there's some zip liners over here heading down into the depths of the falls over there Never noticed this area before. Come down the stairs here at the falls. There's a little shopping area here as well as a little restaurant. And you can actually eat over here right next to the falls. It's a pretty view. It's actually one of the best views of the falls I've seen actually down here in this shopping area in the dining room. Yeah, you can see the Maid of the Mist over there by the uh, Horseshoe Falls, and then down here we got the Hornblower on the Canadian side. You can see over there on the Horseshoe Falls, there's a lot of people on the edge of the falls there on the American side. You can also see that uh, drop tower from Marineland back there. Now, apparently that is uh, news is that Marineland not opening back up this year, so likely will be closed forever at this point. We got really excited here for a second. The sun actually came out. It peeked through the clouds 
everyone here was extremely happy. I looked up and I saw it. I saw the eclipse, which is not good because I wasn't wearing the glasses. Yeah, I was so excited that I could see the sun peeking through the clouds. Actually, look, I saw it with, I, you know, you're not supposed to look at the sun. I looked at the sun. I'm sorry. It, uh, you could be, you could see like the curve for the, it almost like looked like a, like, you know, a partial moon. The sun had the, uh, you could see, well, you see the moon in front of the sun partway. We're not to totality yet, but who knows? Maybe it'll peak out again during totality. Fingers crossed. Did you see it, Jen? I saw it. With my eyes, not the glasses. Oh, you're not supposed to use your, I use my eyes too, but you're, you're not supposed to. My eyes kind of hurt right now. Are yours okay? Does it hurt? <laughs> a little bit. But I saw it. Like, I tried like this, but you literally can't. Yeah, I was trying to look through the glasses too, and you just, you just really couldn't see anything. No, it's very, very. It's very dark. Yeah. But it's not the glasses. It's the, um, the sun literally has to be out. But even with this, and the sun, like, I, maybe it just wasn't clear enough. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. It's looking pretty. It's pretty covered up right now. Yeah, but it keeps partying. So. Yeah, I don't know. It'll be a. It'll be a eclipse miracle maybe if it pokes through. Yeah. To be clear, right now they are experiencing the partial eclipse. Once it is in totality, you can look at it with your eyes. But while it's partial, you're supposed to stick to the glasses, which apparently we're having a really hard time doing because I keep every time it peeks through, I look straight at it. I need to stop, I have a problem. <laughs> yeah, we've decided to hang around this area to watch the eclipse. It does feel like, it, it does honestly feel like it's getting a little bit darker. I mean, not that much, because there is like the cloud cover, but I am sensing a little bit, a little bit of darkness falling over us. All right, the anticipation is killing me. We got about 17 minutes. 17 minutes! Turn around! What? Turn around! <laughs> oh, you can see it there. Right. People love the sun. Yeah, you can definitely feel getting colder and darker here. You can feel the temperature kind of sharply drop as we await the totality. I don't know if you can see, but you can actually see my breath. The temperature drops rapidly. The sun is blocked. You guys see that? Yeah, I don't know if you guys can tell, it's actually getting darker like by the second here. It's about one minute until totality. All right, we have totality. Sun's hiding, but we can stare at the sky indiscriminately. Look how dark, look how dark it's getting. Oh, wow. Oh, people cheering, you can see the sun just a little bit. People cheering the sun on. Oh, look at this. Look at the darkness. Oh my gosh, look how dark it just got. It's crazy. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is nuts. This is nuts. Look at this. It's three o'clock. Three o'clock in the afternoon. Wow, look at that. Yeah, look at this. It just happened in the last few minutes. Now the sun is hiding. We can't see the eclipse, but man, yeah. It's totally, it's like nighttime out here. This is wild. Yeah, you can see the street lights up there. Turned on. What do you think, Jen? It's super weird. <laughs> what, that it's just suddenly dark? No, and now it's nighttime. It's, it's like nighttime. Yeah. The only thing lacking is that I want to listen to Total Eclipse of the Heart because I have no cell service. You're trying to get Total Eclipse of the Heart to play? Yeah. There's too many people here. There's too many people. Oh, yeah, you're yeah. There's too many yeah. people here. Yeah. So Can't I'll get the string. I just have to sing it in my head. I mean, I already have it all day. So. <laughs> yeah, this is max totality. It's 320. Yeah, looking at the sky now, it almost looks like the morning sky. Like we just had a miniature, a miniature nighttime. See it getting, see it getting lighter up there. Oh yeah, you literally watch it getting light. Oh wow, that is nuts.
Oh, just a little sliver, a little sliver of sun right there. Little tiny sliver. It's everything is re everything is reilluminated. Oh, and it's day it's daytime again. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Our totality has ended. I showed how dark this was at the peak at 320. This is only two minutes later. And you see the sun has come back out. It is suddenly daytime again. That is amazing. I'm like really moved. Like I can like somehow my my heart is like beating more. That's just like so so strange, so wild. Like I said, like just the fact that, that could even happen is almost incomprehensible. And just watching it take place is absolutely amazing. I was worried. I was worried about not being able to see the circle, but it really Oh, it's coming out. It's coming out a little sliver, it's coming out. Try not to look at it. I've looked at it so many times. I'm worried. I actually need, I, I need Jen is looking at it right. Jen, stop! Stop looking! Stop back! Stop looking! Stop looking! <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't hurt. No, no, that's why it's so dangerous. Because it doesn't hurt, that's why it's dangerous. Because you're letting the dangerous lights into your eyes. Don't look at it, Jen. Stop. <laughs> but, yeah, even even not being able to see, like, the circle. Never really got that view of, like, the perfect circle of the eclipse. But still, just having it, just night falling within a matter of moments. And then morning happening. A few moments later, just really, really wild. It's just an absolute miracle of nature. And I'm so excited that we got a chance to see it. I'm excited that I got to see it in such a beautiful place as Niagara Falls. And um, yeah, another 20 years until we get a chance to see another one. Okay, so the, the sun finally came out it, it finally and the glasses out. finally work. Oh, People love the sun. Yeah, let me see if I can peek here through the glasses and show the eclipse. Oh yeah, you can kind of see it there. So Jen wanted to get an eclipse photo here Yay! over at the photo gallery where they will not necessarily take your picture in front of the eclipse, but uh, take a photo of you that appears as though you're in front of the eclipse. All right, we're gonna wander over here. Supposedly this is where we gotta go to get our uh, picture taken. All right, we've walked down here. I guess this is normally where you go to get your photo taken before you get on one of the uh, boat cruises, but we just wanted to get our eclipse photo, so let's just head in here and get it snapped. All right, let's get lined up. All right, so we actually had to go down to where the boats launch and get our green screen picture taken, and then we went back up the elevator, came up here to the photo gallery, and here we go. Da -da -da -da! And there we are. Yeah. So there it is. There's there. We we'll always remember the time that we were standing there <laughs> on the boat with the magnificent <laughs> eclipse in the sky. Well, look here. It's like daylight. Like it's already like covered. <laughs> this is not like the scale of the falls. Like that's why I find it so entertaining because I wanted I this like, ridiculous photo. You just picture. played for that. Now you're gonna sit here and laugh at it. No, that's why I wanted it because I found it to be so dumb. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> Yay! Oh yeah, you can see everyone just pouring out of the park here. Now I learned my lesson with the last eclipse. If you go get in your car and leave, you're gonna get caught in traffic. I ended up being caught in traffic for like three hours when I tried during the last eclipse. Because everyone leaves at the same time. Everyone's like, eclipse over, time to head home. And it causes a major backup on the highway. So we'll probably hang out here in uh, in the city before we take off. Oh, look at this police car here. RCMP, Royal Canadian Mounted Police. There's Mounties, there's Mounties in this car. Yeah, I think we're gonna meander our way back up uh, Clifton Hill. How's it going? Did you enjoy the eclipse? Oh yeah, it was pretty good, I was Pretty awesome. Yeah, I couldn't believe how long it lasted. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right, well, you take care. We are special guests live on Usable Guest Justin Timberlake. Your is waiting. 
But as this is new over at the Movie Land Wax Museum, it used to just be the Heath Ledger Joker here on the street, and now they've added the uh, Jack Nicholson Joker with him. And you see the Michael Keaton Batman peering at them through the bars. Oh yeah, now after the eclipse, the sun has decided to be completely out. You see here lighting up lighting up Clifton Hill. All right, we're going our way back to the parking lot. Actually driving the old carpet mobile today so I didn't have to unpack all my uh, traveling stuff to make room for everybody. All right, saying goodbye to Clifton Hill. Goodbye, Clifton Hill! Thank you for the moon and sun. Victoria Avenue. All right, headed back into the United States via the Rainbow Bridge. So we say goodbye to the falls over there to our right. Goodbye falls! Bye. Yeah, you can see a lot of people actually crossing the border on foot today. It looks like there's almost no weight here at the border. That's kind of surprising. I thought it would be uh, jam-packed over here. Yeah, me too. All right, headed back to New York, Empire State, where dreams are made of. Now we get a little traffic on this side. Still not as crazy as I thought it would no, be. No, I thought it would be worse. <laughs> okay, so I'm actually pleasantly surprised. It's about a little bit before five o'clock, so we didn't head directly out after the eclipse, but traffic's pretty clear. They were directing traffic when we went over the border, but uh, got us through real quick, and looks like it's pretty smooth sailing from here. Waterfowl viewing area. You want to go view some waterfowl? Oh, it's a waterfowl? Well, oh, yeah, there's some ducks So I guess there. there's birds and whatnot over there. It's like an old chimney sticking up. There is the Peace Bridge. We went over the Rainbow Bridge. This is the other bridge to Canada now. It does look like that one's backed up. Although it looks like it's mostly semis. I think semis can't cut through town, so they're all, they all travel over here on the Peace Bridge. So it looks like that may be a little backed up. But down here on the, just on the, the, the main road here in Buffalo, it's pretty clear, pretty clear. Not hit barely any traffic on our way back. And we have made it back to the air. B and B, and there was yeah, no, almost no traffic. We did wait a little bit, you know. We weren't didn't rush to our car. We waited maybe like an hour and a half before departing the eclipse, but really um, did not hit any traffic, any significant traffic. Uh, like I said, last 2017, I ended up getting stuck in traffic for several hours. It was actually kind of scary, but uh, avoided it this time. Uh, we showed up pretty early for the eclipse. We left the house around uh, a little bit after 10. So, uh, yeah, I don't know, we, we got there a little earlier than we had to, kind of hung out in Clifton Hill a little bit before the eclipse, but uh, yeah, it was a great, great experience. Um, I know a lot of people were talking about, you know, the cloud cover was going to ruin everything, not, not going to be worth it because of the, uh, the cloud cover, and, and definitely being able to, to see, you know, the, the sun completely eclipsed with your eye, definitely um, an amazing experience. Saw that last time in 2017. Um, but I don't think, you know, just the majesty of, of the eclipse in itself cannot be taken away by, by cloud cover. Like, um, just being able to experience, like, nightfall and darkness and then morning in the, in the, uh, span of, like, four minutes is really incredible. Like, really just an, an absolute unbelievable piece of science, piece of nature, like, I'm, I'm not disappointed, like, I'm not disappointed at all. Like, even though I didn't get to see, you know, exactly, you know, the totality, it was covered during all the, uh, I think it was covered entirely during totality. We caught it, like, at the very end where it was just a little sliver, it peaked out, but, um, I think that's, you know, that, that's a definitely an exciting part of it, but I don't feel like it took away that much to uh, still be able to witness the fall of darkness and, and, and the rise and of course just being there in an amazing place like Niagara Falls I think enhanced the experience quite a bit so a lot of fun I'm glad glad I decided to come out here glad I decided to go to Niagara Falls 
and see it. I think it was uh, was an amazing was an amazing trip. So um, thank you guys, you know, for following along with me on these adventures, for watching these videos. Um, I think I'm going to be in this area for uh, for a few more days. We've got the uh, the Airbnb here for a few more days. So definitely looking for ideas. If you guys know of anything you'd like me to check out here in the Buffalo area, in you know Niagara Falls area, you know, leave a comment in the comment section. I want to see what you guys are interested in uh, in experience in seeing me video and, and showing in these uh, in these vlogs. Um, again, thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like these videos, please subscribe. I travel around the country from roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun random things. If I'd like to help support the channel, consider contributing to Patreon. Three dollars or more gets you a postcard once a month. Selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop. Possibly working on some more merchandise in the near future and uh, also still doing personalized messages on cameo birthdays anniversaries whatever you like you send them to your friends your family yourself if you're interested in that check the description of this video and uh, of course those things help keep this train on the track this boat in the falls and this eclipsing sun high in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.